Pushing the magazine release allows the magazine to exit the magwell. Rounds are loaded and put under force by the follower and magazine spring. The magazine is then inserted into the magwell and gets secured by the magazine catch. Cracking the operating handle chambers the first round. The operating handle moves the bolt carrier assembly backwards and compresses the recoil spring. As the carrier assembly returns forward, the bolt guides and chambers the first round. The bolt is housed inside the bolt carrier. On the bolt, there are several locking lugs which align with the barrel extension lugs. As the bolt moves into the barrel extension, the bolt turns and locks into place. The turning function is due to the cam pin, which turns along a track in the bolt carrier. By pushing the safety, a recess is cleared for the trigger block, which permits trigger movement. As the trigger is pulled, the sear rotates. The sear spring adds additional force onto the hammer. The hammer spring depresses and drives the hammer forward into the firing pin. As the firing pin is impacted by the hammer, it travels forward and strikes the primer of the cartridge. Inside the cartridge is the primer, ignition compound, anvil, propellant, and bullet. As the firing pin dents the primer, a spark ignites the propellant, causing expanding gases to force the bullet out of the cartridge. The gases also channel into a small port in the barrel and put pressure against the piston in the gas tube assembly, which moves the bolt back by proxy. The extractor grips the cartridge on one side, while the spring-loaded ejector flicks the cartridge out of the ejection port. Oh fuck, did it actually just jam?